Hey guys, so today I am going to show you how to replace a belt on an Auric upright vacuum cleaner. Now there's a few things to be looking for in order to determine whether or not you need a new belt. Uh, the first thing is, is the vacuum cleaner picking up well for you on carpets? Uh, the brush roll is responsible for um, brushing and agitating your carpets um, and getting things loose and up so that the suction can pull it into the vacuum. So if it's not picking up well and you know you don't have a clog, um, then the belt is most likely your problem. Um, many times people are fooled by this, that when they flip the vacuum cleaner over and they turn it on, they think everything is okay. So I wanna show you a quick test um, that you can perform uh, if you're comfortable um, that will indicate whether or not you need to replace the belt. So we call this the stall test. So uh, what you're going to do is you're gonna turn the vacuum on and then using the palms of your hands, and again, this is for those who are comfortable doing this. If you have um, very thin skin or, or if you're just um, not comfortable doing this, then um, you can um, find another way to do it. Um, but this is just how I'm gonna show you um, that uh, we do it to, in order to determine whether or not we need to replace the belt. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the vacuum cleaner on and then with your, with your palms of your hands, you're just gonna press nice and firmly on the brush. Um, just a light pressure at first, um, just to, because if it does not stall, then you'll, you'll know right away. And um, so turn the vacuum cleaner on and flip it over. <laughs> So if you noticed, once I put some pressure on with my with the palms of my hands, it stopped. So that tells me the belt is stretched out and it needs to be replaced. Again, please uh, use your own discretion um, as to whether or not you feel comfortable doing that by uh, on your own. So, um, so it, once you have realized you need to replace your belt, I'm going to walk through uh, how to do that. So go ahead and unplug the vacuum cleaner. And there are five screws that you're going to take out. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then you're just gonna lift up straight up and that opens up the compartment here and you're gonna see your motor, your fan chamber, your intake, um, and then your brush roll and your belt here. So again, this belt here is intact, but it is stretched out. So it needs to be replaced. So we're gonna get a new belt. Um, just for comparison's sake, you can see, um, you can see your old belt versus your new belt. So. You can tell that the old one's stretched out. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to put the belt around the brush roll pulley. I'm sorry. First thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, install the belt around your motor pulley. And then you will, with your hands, um, what I do is I take my left hand and get my thumb inside of there and then I start to stretch it. And then with my other thumb, I'm going to start rolling it around the, br the brush roll pulley and then it should just jump right on it and start tracking on the pulley. And then you're gonna spin it back the other direction and this pulley has a crown pulley so it should center itself um, automatically. Some uh, auric vacuums have a little um, disc here so it makes the brush, uh, getting the belt on a little bit more challenging. and you can remove this side screw and take this whole panel out off and that can make it easier as well. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people might be, you might be able to get away with just removing this panel by itself to do the belt install. Um, but for me and w with what I do in terms of repairing vacuums for a living, I'm always gonna take off this because this gives me more, uh, more sight into, I, I can also check the, the motor and just see how it looks, check all the screw mounts and all that. So I'm always taking this cover off. It's just, I can do a better job by doing it that way than just opening this panel and not being able to see anything else. So, okay, um, once you get your belt put, put back on, then you're going to, um, if you took this panel off, you're gonna slide this um, in place here like this and put your screw back in here on the side.
And then um, you can check just to right in here, this your your intake area here. Just make sure there's no debris in there. Um, you should know that because if the vacuum cleaner was um, picking up or if it's picking up on bare floors, then um, you do not have a clog. Um, but that is where you would want to check for a blockage. So go ahead and lower your base plate back on. And then the screws, um, if you keep them in, then they'll just sit right back in place. It's pretty nice. So, and then you just tighten your screws back in. And then go ahead and test it out. Make sure it's picking up. I'm gonna throw down a little bit of this fresh wave to, to do my test. It's kind of loud. I'll turn the volume down when I, when I do it. Plug it in first. Okay, so now you should have a vacuum that is easier to push and should be picking up much better on your carpet. So hope this helped. And if you liked the video, please let me know in the comments and you can like the video and subscribe. And if this video was helpful to you and it was of value to you, then I do accept tips uh, and I have a PayPal email address in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day, bye.